let's uh, discuss some definitions uh, for the circular motion. Some definitions for circular motion and some important formulas. Uh, actually, I have given in the previous lecture the definition of the angular um, displacement and its SI unit. Angular displacement is actually angle made. Suppose if this is the circle in which a body moves, it, the body starts from A and suppose reaches at B. Then this angle made theta, this, ang this is known as angular displacement, and its SI unit is radian. And I told you the formula how to change the radian. Actually, this is the thing 2 pi radians are always equal to 360 degree in a circle, and using this one, we can do the things. The other definitions are um, I have suppose defined uh, what is the angular speed. This is sometimes also known as angular velocity and also angular frequency. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> angular speed or angular velocity. Uh, actually, it's, we call it in A2 level as angular speed only, but it's uh, sometimes also in the angular velocity and angular frequency also sometimes by the examiners. So, we define it by the relationship. We say omega is equal to theta upon t. This is the defining equation where I will say where omega is angular speed. Theta is angular displacement and T is the timing, T is the time. This is actually the definition. I can say uh, it is the, I, I can say it's the rate of change of angular displacement. That's also the definition, same definition. Uh, actually, calculus is not in our course, otherwise I would have defined this omega is equal to d theta by dt that's the omega is actually the differential coefficient of angular displacement with respect to time uh, so uh, this is also the definition but in our a level we will be just defining omega is equal to theta upon t uh, where theta is the angular displacement t is the timing and its si unit of course theta is measured in radians so it's the radian per second now for example uh, this is the 90 degree Okay, and up to here is 80 degree. 80 degree is pi radians. So suppose uh, if, a, uh, if a body moves from here up to here and takes suppose uh, 3 seconds, then I'll be saying okay, its angular speed is, this is uh, pi radians, pi divided by 3 or 3.142 divided by 3 radians per second, whatever it comes. So, we can calculate the angular speed in that way. There are a few formulas, formulas which are related to the circular motion and few definitions, other definitions also. For example, uh, suppose what is the time period? Time period is denoted by capital T. Now, what's the time period? Time period. It's time period or capital T. It is the time taken or I can define time period. Uh, as the time time divided by number of oscillations or number of cycles. So time divided by number of cycles and I can say it's the time per cycle. Time per cycle is the time period and what is the frequency? Frequency is number of cycles divided by the time or I can say it is the number of cycles per second. Number of cycles per second is the frequency. And time period and frequency are related by the equation t is equal to 1 upon f or f is equal to 1 upon t or f t is equal to 1. Uh, the unit of the frequency you know already is hertz. So these are the basic two formulas time period and frequency. Now let us see how can we drive a few other formulas for the circular motion. For example, uh, I am writing all those formulas which I will be proving here. First one is, I will just writing 
this is the basic formula I'm writing here. Uh, this is the Ft is equal to 1. We calculated here. Ft is equal to 1. And now we'll be proving that T is equal to 2 power upon omega. Okay. And we derive this formula. Okay, omega is equal to theta upon T. This is the basic definition. Now I'll be proving. Suppose I'm asked to prove, prove that T is equal to 2 pi upon omega. I'll be giving a proof here. The proof is we know that omega is equal to theta upon T. This is the definition. Omega is the angular speed. Theta is the angular displacement. T is the time. For entire circle, for entire circle, theta is equal to 2 pi and then T becomes the time period capital T. So I can say omega is equal to 2 pi upon T or I will be saying just T is equal to 2 pi upon omega. From this relationship I can also prove, okay, I can say again <coughs> omega is equal to 2 pi upon T. I can write omega is equal to 2 pi into 1 upon T. 1 upon T this is the frequency so I can write omega is equal to 2 pi F also. So I have a few relationships which, uh, which you should uh, remember always first is okay, theta is equal to omega uh, sorry uh, omega is equal to theta upon t first second one is <coughs> uh, f t is equal to 1 where the f is the frequency t is the time period then you should remember t is equal to 2 pi upon omega uh, second one is omega is equal to 2 pi f these are the general formulas which will be used throughout your a2 level and other formulas for, uh, here are suppose sometimes uh, examiners may say if suppose if this is a circle and this is the angular displacement theta and this is the arc length s this is r this is r you have to prove the formula <coughs> prove that s is equal to r theta this is another formula which you should remember these are a few formulas for the circular motion Now, this can be proved very easily. Uh, actually, you can see okay, if theta increases, S also increases. So, from your, our experience, it is must K S is directly proportional to theta. Means greater the angular displacement, greater is the arc length. So, S varies as theta. Now, it means S must be equal to K theta. Where K is a, some proportionality constant which will be found from some known values. When actually for a circle, for a complete circle, values are known, when s is equal to 2 pi or the circumference of circle, theta is always 2 pi. So from this I can obtain 2 pi r is equal to k into 2 pi. 2 pi is cancelled with, so k is equal to r, so this proves the s is equal to r theta. Where s is arc length, R is the radius of the circle and theta is angular displacement. <coughs> this angular displacement must be in radians and these two must have the same unit. Suppose if you are making a uh, arc length in centimeters, then radius of circle will also be made in centimeters. If you are making a uh, mirroring radius of circle in meters, then arc length will also be in meters. So this is another formula for uh, this one and we prove this. There is another formula also. Another formula is we have to prove that V is equal to R omega. Actually these formulas, these two formulas, V is equal to R omega. These two formulas tell us S is equal to R theta and V is equal to R omega. Okay, how can we change angular quantities into linear quantities? This is RS, this one. actually we usually have a general formula. General formula is any linear quantity is usually equal to radius into corresponding angular quantity. Since we are very much well versed with the linear quantities, so it is always useful to first transform the <coughs> circular problems in the linear ones. Uh, so suppose <coughs> suppose if I have a uh, linear quantity is displacement or distance s 
then radius is r and angular point is theta. Similarly, we have a linear speed v velocity, it's r and angular speed omega. Similarly, acceleration is a, it must be equal to r and alpha, where the alpha is the angular acceleration, but it's not our course. This formula is not our course, but these two, uh, generally always, any linear quantity is always equal to radius into corresponding angular quantity. Now we have to disprove this formula. How I can prove this formula? Prove that v is equal to r omega. Just I'll be taking this one, s is equal to r theta. I am dividing both sides by 2. Dividing side by t, by t. So it will be s upon t is equal to r theta upon t. So this s upon t is r into theta upon t. Since these are two multiplied, so t will divide only once. Either r it will divide or it will divide t. I have the experience give students sometimes confused here. They say t should be dividing both. When there is a plus or minus sign, then, then should t have divided, uh, then should a t uh, must be dividing r and theta. But here is a no sign. So suppose 4 into 6 divided by 2. Now either you write 4 upon 2 into 6 or you write 4 into 6 upon 2. But you cannot write 4 upon 2 into 6 upon 2. This will be wrong. So similar is the case here. So S is equal to R theta dividing both sides by T. S upon T is equal to R theta upon T. S upon T is V and R and this is omega. So V is equal to R omega. Similarly, but I can say, okay, but suppose omega is equal to 2 pi upon capital T. So V must be equal to 2 pi R, uh, 2 pi R upon T, also another formula. So I have formula V is equal to 2 pi R upon T. This can, suppose 2 pi R upon T can be also proved another way also. How can I prove, suppose, he says, prove that, prove that V is equal to 2 pi R upon T. There are two methods. First method is, I am just writing V is equal to S upon T. Linear velocity is distance upon time. Now for entire circle, for entire circle, for entire circle, S is equal to 2 pi r. Arc length is a circumference and T becomes time period. So I will say V is equal to 2 pi r upon capital T. This is another method. Uh, the previous method was, first we will be putting suppose S is equal to r theta dividing by T. So S upon T is equal to r theta upon T. S upon T is V and V is equal to R omega, but omega is equal to, again, omega is equal to 2 pi upon T, so V will be equal to 2 pi R upon capital T. Or suppose I can write this also, V is equal to 2 pi R into 1 upon T, so V will be equal to 2 pi R F also. So V is also an equation 2 pi R F. So these are some formulas uh, which are very much useful theta is equal to omega is equal to theta upon t, omega is angular displacement, angular velocity, theta is angular displacement, t is time. Or f t is equal to 1, f is the frequency, t is the time period. t is equal to 2 pi upon omega, t is time period, omega is the uh, angular speed. P, omega is equal to 2 pi f, omega is the angular speed, the angular frequency and f is the frequency. s is equal to r theta, where s is the arc length, r is the radius and theta is the uh, angular distance. Since v is equal to r omega, v is the linear speed, r is the radius, omega is the angular speed. V is equal to 2 pi r upon t, V is the linear speed, R is the radius of the circle, T is the time period. V is equal to 2 pi r f, V is the speed, linear speed of the body on the uh, circle, uniform circle, uh, uniform speed, R is the radius of the circle and F is the frequency.